a fun one. Let's go! Being as dirty as it was, I thought it was smart to just lightly foam it down first, then do a pre-rinse, just like some sort of pre-treatment, because I'm using a ceramic prep wash. Link in the description, by the way, if you are interested. But now I'm gonna go ahead and foam it down and go through every crevice with a brush like I normally would. One thing to consider is I'm in Florida, it's summer, there is no shade. No shade at all in my driveway. It's definitely gonna have product drying on the paint, but that's fine because we're gonna be paint correcting this.
side tape all the trim up real quick and then we'll go ahead and do a paint inspection. about is that my five inch polisher died. It was my first ever five inch, it was my first ever polisher actually. And it has put in work, countless cars, countless correct, corrections. Like it started from my very first ever correction to where I'm at today. But do I want to spend hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of dollars for a Rupes? Yes, I do. But I honestly was not in a position to do that because this happened right before we left for our trip of North Carolina and Georgia. So if you've ever been on Amazon and you've looked at buying a five inch polisher, you've probably seen the name Spada or SPTA come up. And this polisher came in at a whopping $130, which is actually like 50, 60 bucks more than my Max Shine was. I figured why not give it a shot? So I went ahead and bought it. It, it looks nice. It's obviously a knockoff of a Rupes, like no doubt. Look at the design. But yeah, we're gonna give this thing a shot. I'm gonna do a couple of test spots and see how it works.
crazy with this Mustang is that, especially these newer generations, they have a lot more body curves and intricate little areas that are definitely perfect for a two or three inch polishing pad. That's why I've pretty much been using it this entire time. I mean, there's a lot more aerodynamics to this car versus like a third gen Mustang, which is crazy. But now we've gotten this far, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the five inch pad, smash out these doors real quick, do some intricate little finger polishing here and there, and then we're good to do the refining stage. It's a hot summer's day. It's definitely summertime. Now well, we're pretty much done getting this thing corrected up and refined. I am though going to go through with a 
finishing pad from Griot's Garage and probably some super finish from Menzerna just to kind of make that gloss pop a little extra. Kind of just give the car a little more oomph before I coat it. So I'm gonna hit it with that and then we'll get prepared to do the coating. It's hot today, man. Today is a hot floor today. I'm freaking dying. Other than me being drenched in sweat, we're pretty much done with the correction process. It was supposed to be a two-stage major correction, but I made it three just because that color looks insane with the finishing polish on it. It was already full of depth and gloss, but doing that last little bit of finishing polish just gave it that much more with a bunch more depth. Oh, so nice. So now what we're going to focus on is taking off all the tape. I'm going to go ahead and polish up the headlights, do a little bit of finger polishing, IPA it, toothpickery, then coat it.
All right, it's been about an hour, give or take, since we went ahead and applied the layers of coating. And now we're gonna go through with Drexler's number two bottle, spray it on the surface, wipe it, flip a towel, wipe again, just like you would a quick detail or anything like that. Very simple, very easy. I went ahead and took all the excess ones I had and put it in this little spray bottle here so it's easier to work because their bottle is uh, kind of hard to work with. Mm -hmm. 